Hi, this is Lori, and this is my homework for Paul McCorder's Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi course. Well, that's a big mouthful. Um, this is lesson number one, and we're getting started using, uh, getting our uh, Arduino all set up, getting the IDE loaded, and we're going to blink the internal LED that happens to be on pin 13. And Paul asked us to uh, see how fast we could blink it and still see it. Um, so that's our homework. Um, next I'm just going to show because kind of Paul did skip over that and that's probably because he's been playing with it But when you first pull your Arduino R4 out of the box, it has a program already loaded on it So once you plug that into power, that's going to automatically load and so I'll just show a little clip of what that looks like This is the R4 board that I bought when they first came out I haven't gotten my kit in yet like a lot of people and uh, just showing the opening sketch I pressed the reset button to get it going this is the uh, code that we developed during lesson one to uh, blink the LED using digital write and delays. And right now I have mine set for um, 500 milliseconds. And you can see it's, uh, it's blinking and what you're actually seeing is the true uh, blink. As we speed this up, it, it's, uh, the camera won't capture the blinks uh, well. And I did already pre-do some uh, looking. So um, I found that when I got to about um, point I'd say 17 milliseconds or 18 milliseconds, I think, is close to where I see, can't see it blink anymore. So we'll go ahead and load that. Um, and uh, I think I noticed uh, previously that uh, once, it, once it gets in there, okay, it's done. And I can still sort of see it blinking. Um, and if I go, I think if I go to 16 milliseconds, um, that was when I, I really can't see it anymore. Um, these are old eyes, so, yeah. All right. Yeah, and there might be a little bit of a flicker there, but um, it looks pretty solid. So I'd say 17 milliseconds is kind of where I net out. And uh, I just thought I'd also point out, um, I'm sure everybody's going to have their own way of, of uh, kind of creating a, an experimental space for their Arduino. Um, I happened to find this on Thingiverse. This is a 3D printed uh, little experimentation setup, and you can mount your Arduino on it and put a breadboard there. And actually, a space for a Nano, too. Um, so you can mount that on, and Mega will fit on here as well, too. Um, anyways, I digress. But uh, that's what I'm going to do. I, Hopefully that'll work for most of uh, uh, the projects we do with, uh, with the Arduino. Well, I really enjoyed the lesson, Paul. I'm looking forward to using this board. I, I've had it for a little while, and I just haven't pulled it out because we're working so much in MicroPython, and I wasn't really sure I wanted to go back to um, C++ and program, but the class gives me a good reason to, uh, to just start uh, getting back into that space again. So uh, it'll be good. It's good to keep both of those languages going for me. So thank you for that lesson, and thank you for this series. And I want to thank all of you for, for watching.